This is the last lawnmower video that will appear on Mr. Potter's garden. This is a 2001 Craftsman LT1000 with a 17 horsepower overhead valve Briggs & Stratton engine. A fellow YouTuber asked if I could show how the carburetor and throttle linkage works on the LT1000. So here it is. This is your throttle lever. Pull up to the notch for run. Push all the way to the top. That engages the choke for starting. Once the engine's running, you can throttle it back. Here's a view of the throttle linkage from under the dash. The cable runs underneath the fuel tank, comes out here, and attaches to the throttle mounting bracket. There's a bunch of stuff that happens behind this bracket. The throttle cable comes out here, it's held by this clamp, goes into this block. When I push the lever up, it pulls that block back, and that block is pivoting a lever on the inside of that bracket. As it goes up, that's your run position right there. If you keep pushing that forward, it will engage the choke mechanism. It will push that choke mechanism forward, and that will engage the choke for starting the engine. And then this is your run position, and these are your varying speed positions. There's one other piece of magic happening here, and that's this piece right here. This is the governor, and that's linked into the throttle also, the throttle plate on the carburetor. To see how this works, I'll need to remove the air filter. And I'm going to remove the air intake manifold. Always make sure you use the right tool for the job. I removed the two nuts. I loosened the bolt here. Now I can slide this forward, lift up the back, pull this out of the way. It has a PCV breather underneath, which I'm going to disconnect. And now we can see the carburetor. Now we can see the throttle plate control here and the choke here. So when you go to start the engine and you lift the throttle lever all the way to the top, it engages the choke, which restricts the air going into the engine, enriches the mixture, and makes the engine easier to start. And you can see the choke engaged by this lever. Now once the engine starts, you're going to pull this back, it'll open the choke, that's in your high speed run mode, and at this point the governor takes over. It will regulate the engine speed to keep it constant based on varying loads like driving up and down hills or hitting deeper or thinner grass patches. And that's all there is to it. Full on choke choke off, you'll notice no matter where I set the speed, except at the very bottom, the throttle stays all the way open. That's because it's under the control of the governor. That will regulate the speed. At all the way down at idle, you'll see that the throttle cracks open just a little bit. So that's your proper settings. That's idle. This is run under the control of the governor. This is choke engage for starting. And here's a close up of that metal plate because there are some pieces on the inside. There's a spring. Where it presses on the choke. When it's all the way at the bottom, you can see it press on the governor. And when it's released from the governor, you can see this arm can move. And that's controlled by the engine speed. So, I hope that helps. If you've got an engine that's been disassembled, you're trying to figure out how to put it back together, maybe this will give you the information you need. Good luck! 
Now let me put this back together before the owner finds out I disassembled his fully functional engine just to make a video. And if you're looking for future videos on the Craftsman LT1000, check out my new channel, The Hapless Handyman. Handle is at ClayPotter381. This is Clay, over and out. No lawn mowers were injured in the making of this video. Gotta love the LT1000. Even has a place for a can of Yingling, America's oldest brewery.